Hmm. Let's have a look at the analysis. That was a bit tense. But I wonder if it was as tense as I thought. Let's have a look and see. Just looking for any major dips. I think I might have. It didn't feel too bad because I think the opponent gave us the stuff back, but I think initially it looked a little bit wobbly. So the exchanges were good here, that I felt anyway. So we're on the night, what happened there? Okay. And then we get to double their pawns at some stage. So, yeah. Mm. We lost a bit of advantage somewhere, didn't we? Let's have a look. Okay, so from there, Queen takes d8, that's fine. Knight c6. What's that? No, knight takes e5. Oh, so it should have been the knight taking. Well, I did consider that, but I thought, well, the bishop's got scope to take the knight off the board, maybe double the pawns up if he moves the bishop. Was the knight jumping here? I didn't see any further continuation. Is it going to bounce back around again to attack this pawn? No, that's too much. I'm sorry. I still would have gone with the bishop. Okay, so that's fine. Uh, bringing the bishop back, it's not happy with that. It's saying rook h. No, it's not. Bishop d6. Bishop d6. Attacking the rook. Interesting times. Yeah, okay, I like that one. I wasn't focused on that. I think I was more to say already to actually bring my bishop back here because of the potential for that. So that didn't come into my more to set situation. So it's probably just up in the more to set in a little bit and not sort of like going, okay, yeah, I'm definitely just bringing it back here. Open my mind up a bit to a one, two, maybe. It is a quicker game, it's a 10 minute game, but we still had like 9 minutes left so we could have taken a bit more time to find the, find the move because this is actually also on the pawn, so it would have won a pawn as well, because it would have had to move, knights protecting the bishop, so yeah, taking a bit more time there, I'll give you that one, I think that was the major one that made them more advantageous is it? So now we're looking to exchange, equalising down, and grabbing, so he's looking to double our pawns. I uh, don't have an issue with that actually, um, because we do have functional bishops that look like they can do something, you know, attacking, that type of thing, so they looked functional to me. Doesn't like that bishop move, but makes sense to me. I mean, I was expecting him to take, and we could have just taken here. So it's nothing major. So then we're chasing down the knight. It's not showing that's an advantage, but I thought that was a pretty neat move as well. And then the knight moves, and then we capture. So I thought that was all pretty neat, really. So I'll take away one one point from that, which is. Um, if I've got like a thought in my head of an automatic tunnel vision type movement, I need to just say, okay, is there a two step to this movement before I go and just do the move I originally thought of? Not bad, not bad.